Welcome, my name is Alan Clues. I am uh, the Toronto Hypnotherapist, torontohypnotherapist.com. And I'm with a group of people here tonight. And we're going to do a group hypnosis session. So I would like you to begin by just becoming aware of the position of your body in space. Become aware of your arms and your legs, your hands and your fingers, your feet and your toes. And just allow yourself to begin to relax a little deeper, just using your breath and using the awareness of your breath and breathing to allow yourself to move into a deeper, more comfortable, calmer state of awareness, focusing perhaps on your breath, perhaps aware of the sensation of air as it flows in through your nose, nasal cavity, back of mouth, past your vocal cords, into your lungs and back out again. Really just using your breath and using the awareness of your breathing to help you calm down. And perhaps you might breathe in to the top of your head and then breathe out a warm and gentle wave of relaxation all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Following your own natural rhythm of breath, breathing into the top of your head and then relaxing your body all the way down as you breathe out. This is one of the little hypnotherapist's tricks. As you breathe in, muscles in your body tenses. And as you breathe out, they relax. So aiming and timing the relaxation with the out breath. Breathing awareness to the top of your head and then just relaxing your body even deeper as you move down. And I would like you to focus on your eyes. Really pay attention to your eyes. And try your best to relax your eyes as deeply as you can. Become aware of the muscles that are attached to the top of each eye and that flow up over the eye into the eye socket and connect to the bone at the back. Try to relax these muscles connected to the top of your eyes that help you look up. And then become aware of its twin at the bottom of your eye that flows underneath your eye into the eye socket, connecting to the bone at the back. And try to relax that muscle as deeply as you can. Relaxing both the top and bottom muscles Deeper and deeper, more and more, just allowing yourself to relax even deeper, even deeper. And then become aware of the twin pair of muscles on the right and left sides of each eye. Just relaxing both of those muscles all the way back. Just allowing the top and bottom and the right and left side muscles to relax deeper and deeper. And then become aware of your eyelid lifter muscle that flows from your eyelid up over your eyeball into the eye socket connecting to the bone at the back. And just relax that one as deeply as you can. And I don't want you to go into a trance too quickly. I would like you to become aware of your eyes, relaxing your eyes deeper and deeper, more and more, and about an inch and a half directly behind each eye is a structure in your brain called the amygdala. And the amygdala is the emotional heart of the brain. They also call it the fear receptor. The amygdala is what triggers the fight, flight, or freeze response. And so I would like you to just relax your eyes even deeper. The top and bottom muscles, the right and left side muscles, the eyelid lifter muscle deeper and deeper. And then allow this relaxation you now feel in your eyes to seep back 
and relax. The amygdala. Amygdala is Latin for almond. It's an almond-shaped cluster of neurons about the size of the top of your baby finger, the nail in your baby finger. And the amygdala is connected to a structure called the hypothalamus. So it sends a signal to the hypothalamus, which then interprets this signal. And the hypothalamus then begins to secrete neurohormones, which then seep down into the pituitary gland. And the pituitary analyzes this neurohormone and then begins to secrete a hormone into your body. So become aware of your eyes, relax your eyes as deeply as you can. Just relax your eyes deeper and deeper, more and more. Just let go, do nothing in the muscles within your eyes and around your eyes and allow this state of relaxation to seep back into the amygdala, into the hypothalamus, let this relaxation seep down into the pituitary gland. Now the pituitary gland is capable of producing approximately 20 different hormones. The pituitary gland is located right in the center of your head. If you had to locate the center of your head, you would find your pituitary gland. So use your imagination to imagine the pituitary gland. And the pituitary gland in many ways is like a drop of water that's just beginning to form and just to drop off from, say, a faucet or a tap. It's like this round bubble thing, but connected up to the other parts of the brain and try to imagine that almost like a, a drop just about to break free but still connected to the top of where it's dropping from and imagine that your pituitary gland now produces a specific hormone called oxytocin Oxytocin is the bonding molecule. When a mother gives birth to a baby and begins to suckle the baby on her breast, that floods her body with oxytocin and she bonds with the baby. If you've ever gone somewhere for a length of time and come back home and perhaps had relatives waiting at the airport or waiting at home to see you again, and you walk either through the door at the airport or the door at home, and you feel this real connection, this deep love and sense of belonging. It was triggered by oxytocin. So relax your eyes, just relax your eyes deeper and deeper, more and more. Allow this relaxation to seep back through your brain, down into the pituitary gland, and imagine your pituitary gland secreting oxytocin, the molecule, the hormone that brings us closer together. You have two people walk into a room. One feels shy and at a loss. Their body is producing ACTH, a stress-related hormone. The other just feels like they're at home and they're smiling and there's all these wonderful new people to me. Their brain is producing oxytocin. So just allow yourself to relax a little deeper. Allow yourself to move into a nice, quiet, calm state of awareness. Allow your pituitary gland to begin to secrete this bonding molecule. And recognize that you have far more control over these subconscious processes than you may have been led to believe. So just allow your eyes to relax as deeply as you can. 
Perhaps even relax your forehead, your eyebrows. Moving down into your nose can relax a little deeper, relaxing the tiny nostril dilator muscles. Relaxing your lips, your chin. Going back to your eyes and this time relaxing your eyes as if they can go 10 times deeper. Relaxing your eyes 10 times deeper and allowing this relaxation to seep down into your cheekbones, down into your cheeks, down into your jaw. Relaxing your jaw, relaxing all of the muscles connected to your jaw. Relaxing the masticator muscles, the main muscles involved in chewing that flow from your temple bone down to your jaw bone. Just allowing your jaw to relax deeper and deeper, more and more. And then moving into your throat, relaxing the muscles involved in swallowing and relaxing the muscles just beneath the skin of your throat and moving into your neck and relaxing the small muscles close to your spine, your cervical vertebrae, and then moving back and relaxing the larger muscles that flow from your skull down to your shoulders, your shoulder blades. Relaxing your head, the sides of your head, the back of your head, Relaxing all of the muscles in your face towards that relaxing possibility of just letting go a little deeper inwards as you listen to the sound of my voice can be so relaxing your body a little deeper allowing these words can be used in many different ways to just let go a little inwards. And then find yourself in the schoolroom of the mind where you learn to relax. Imagine standing in front of the blackboard. Imagine a wooden ledge with a magical piece of gold and chalk. And use your full sensory imagination, sensing your body, sensing the effect of gravity pulling you down, perhaps towards the wooden floor under your feet. And I would like you to use your sensory imagination and imagine reaching out with your arm and picking up that piece of golden chalk in your fingers, becoming aware of the unique touch texture of chalk in your hand. And in a moment, I'm going to count from 10 down to one. And I would like you to use your full sensory imagination, recognizing that your ability to hear that distinctive sound that chalk makes when you drag it along the board and your ability to smell that faint trace of chalk dust in the air are considered deep trance phenomena. So really make sure that you invoke your full sensory imagination. So imagine sensing your body standing there, gravity pulling you down, your feet pressing down against the floor, that unique touch texture of chalk in your hand. And as I say the number 10, imagine lifting your arm up, pressing the tip of the chalk against the board, dragging the chalk along the board, hearing that sound that chalk makes, dragged along the board, aware of that faint trace of chalk dust in the air. And aware of that golden color, the golden one and the zero that make up the ten. And then, standing there, sensing your feet pressing down against the floor, trace a nine on the board. Aware of the movement of your wrist, elbow and shoulder joint, the sound, the smell of chalk dust in the air. And then trace an eight on the board. Aware of that pressure in your hand as you push and drag the chalk, the sound, the smell. Followed by a seven. And then tracing a six.
followed by a five, aware of your feet pressing down against the floor, the movement of your arm, the sound, the smell. Followed by a three. And then tracing a two. And finishing with a one. And then just allowing your imagination to rest and relaxing your body even deeper. And complex phrases and linguistic patterns can also be used to overwhelm your conscious mind so it is unable to reject the suggestion to feel more comfortable around people. We are social animals. Imagine a hundred thousand years ago, we would live in small tribal units of no more than 150 people. There was no such thing as shyness or social anxiety. That only came with the rise of cities. So back in the distant past, we would go out perhaps hunting or looking for food or berries, and we would come back and feel so connected to each and every individual that we saw. They would be uncles and aunts and grandparents and cousins, and even someone who was not your uncle would be called uncle and someone not your aunt would be called aunts because the village and the tribe was one. And there was a great sense of connection, of camaraderie. So imagine your pituitary secreting oxytocin, these hormone molecules of bonding, making you feel more comfortable more connected to other people, loving other people, wanting to be around them, wanting to have that connection, that heartfelt connection. And perhaps you can recall moments in your past, perhaps moments in your childhood, perhaps going to visit your grandmother, and just feeling so welcome, so loved, or going to visit a friend that you hadn't seen in a long time, so excited to see them, to just connect with them, to feel that connection with them. Recalling various images, various things that happened, with other people, wonderful experiences. Recalling what that feels like on the inside. So just allow yourself to relax a little deeper as I count from 10 down to one. 10, just moving into a more quiet state. Nine, just perhaps sinking a little deeper into wherever you are. Eight, perhaps even recalling a feeling of sinking, perhaps in a car going down a long hill or in an elevator descending or an escalator going down. Seven, just relaxing your body even deeper. Six, relaxing your forehead, your eyes, your nose, your face. Five, just moving deeper and deeper. Four, relaxing your shoulders, your arms, hands, fingers, your legs, feet, toes. Five, just deeper and deeper. Four, three, two, one. That's right. Just relaxing more and more. And perhaps allowing that part of your brain can just let go a little deeper as you focus on things can begin to change as your subconscious mind comes to understand 
that through images, through the process of relaxation is so good for you are doing so well, just allowing that part of your brain to slip slightly out of gear as you move into that state of deep inner calmness is such an interesting feeling to feel the air as it touches your face can relax even deeper into this nice calm relaxed state of peaceful awareness where you can become aware of tranquility is such an interesting words can be used in many different ways just to allow that conscious part of your brain to relax to allow the subconscious mind to come to the surface. That's right. Relaxing more and more, just letting go as deeply as you can. Letting go in all of the muscles in your face towards that relaxation is so good for you are doing so well. Just moving deeper and deeper inwards. And I would like to ask your subconscious mind in its own subconscious way to allow you to return to a moment when you felt so connected either with a particular individual or even better a group of individuals perhaps it was a recent memory or perhaps it was a memory from deep in your childhood. I would like your subconscious mind to allow this memory to rise up, to become aware of that moment when you felt so good being with either a person or persons, when you felt like you belonged when you felt such a deep connection with them. And I would like you to try to recall what you saw, what you heard, the sensations in your body. If you were young, notice how your body was small and your arms and legs were small. If you were older, still become aware of your body. Become aware of what you saw, what you heard. And more importantly, become aware of that feeling that you feel. Recall what it felt like. Notice where you felt these feelings in your body. Was it in your chest? Was it in your stomach? Was it in the smile in your face? Was it in your eyes? Where did you notice this feeling? The easiest way to summon this feeling is to recall where you felt it in your body. And so imagine being there where you felt so connected to this person or these people where you felt such a sense of belonging, such a sense of being connected, where your body was flooded with oxytocin, that this feeling was a result of your pituitary releasing this hormone and you felt so connected, so at one with the person or persons, that deep sense of connection. And pay attention to your body. Notice where you feel these feelings in your body and it's different for everyone. I notice it in the smile in my face. Other people have expressed and said they've noticed it in their solar plexus. Others have felt an expansiveness in their heart, like their heart just seems to grow wider and wider and encompass the people in the room with them. There's no right or wrong way, but just be there, see what you saw, hear what you heard, and feel those feelings in your body. And then hold on to those feelings in your body. Notice how you feel it in your body, where you feel it. And then I would like you to imagine some point in the future, at some event, 
where you would really like to feel more connected, more welcome, more receptive, more open to the people in that situation where you could use this extra dose of oxytocin. Imagine being there. Imagine what you would see, the people there. Perhaps it's a classroom or some kind of a social event or a party or at the office or at work or a meeting. Somewhere where this skill, this feeling would really come in handy. And imagine that you're there, perhaps standing or sitting. Imagine this feeling that you felt from that memory, feeling it in your body, perhaps your heart, that expansive feeling or feeling it in your solar plexus or the smile of your face. Rehearse this at the subconscious level. Imagine going into that situation just thriving, wanting to be there, just feeling like, wow, there's these people I can connect with and allowing your body to produce oxytocin. And then allow that scene to dissolve. Perhaps imagine another scene, another situation, a meeting, a classroom, a family gathering, who knows what, some place that you would like to feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more connected with the people there. Some place where you could use more oxytocin in your body and imagine yourself there. Imagine feeling this feeling in your body, perhaps the smile in your face or this expansiveness in your throat or your heart just opening or in your lungs or in your stomach. Just imagine being there, feeling this feeling, just wanting to connect, wanting to be there, wanting to be social, feeling this feeling arising in your body. And then again, just allow that situation, that scenario to dissipate. And I would like you to slowly begin the process of coming back to normal waking awareness, but doing so feeling this feeling in your body, perhaps the smile in your face, perhaps an openness in your throat, or this expansiveness in your heart and lungs, or just a real comfortable feeling in your solar plexus. Imagine bringing this feeling back with you as you begin to slowly return to normal waking awareness and practice this. Go into situations feeling this feeling. Perhaps if you're going to a party and you don't know a lot of people before you go into the party, as you stand outside, recall that moment when you felt really connected with people. Summon this feeling state in your body. Bring it into the smile in your face, that openness in your heart. Bring this feeling state into your body and then go into that party or go into that meeting or go into that meetup or go and meet those friends and bring this feeling with you, knowing that we have far more control over our feelings and these processes than we might otherwise believe. And slowly just recall how this felt in your body Become aware of your particular signs, how you feel it in your body. And as you return to normal waking awareness, bring this feeling back. Bring this bonding molecule, oxytocin, back with you. Feel it in yourself. Feel that desire, that need to connect with other people, even if you're alone. Just feel it. And the next time where you feel a little shy or timid, 
just create this in your mind. See what you saw in those times. Bring the feeling back. Bring that feeling state back. And then go and enjoy a new life. Enjoy new friendships. Enjoy new social experiences. And I'm going to count from one up to five. And as I do, I would like you to slowly and gently return to full waking awareness. Slowly coming back to full waking awareness. One, beginning to move your fingers and toes ever so slightly. Two, perhaps even stretching a little bit. Three, maybe even allowing your eyes to begin fluttering open. Four, opening your eyes, just stretching, moving your body a bit. And five, returning to normal waking awareness. Coming back to normal waking awareness.